Hello, my name is Ernie Parrish, CEO and founder of the Natural Foot Orthotics. I'd like to congratulate you on the purchase of your Natural Foot Orthotics system. This video was designed to help you understand just how important these orthotics are to you and how they will benefit you. The Natural Foot Orthotics are a biomechanically engineered medical grade orthotic made in the USA. They are not your typical over-the-counter, one-size-fits-all supports. Natural Foot Orthotics have been used by doctors and orthotics-specific uh, retailers worldwide for decades with tremendous results. We are now making these orthotics available to you direct from our own labs at a greatly reduced price. So now, many more people can experience relief from foot, leg, and back pain from these amazing orthotics. This video was produced at one of our orthotic retail locations and will show you step-by-step step the process of proper sizing and wearing guidelines. Now, I'd like to take a moment and uh, talk to you about some very important feet facts. Did you know that you have four arches in each foot, that you have 52 bones in both feet, that's 25% of all the bones in your entire body are in your feet. You also have 150 ligaments and muscles in your feet. Did you know that your feet make up just 2% of your body's mass? Think about it. That's 2% of your body carrying 98% of your body mass. It's no wonder that 87% of all people have some kind of foot-related problems. Your feet are the foundation of your entire body. Here's a great analogy. You have a beautiful three-story home, and one day you wake up, and on that top floor, the doors and windows don't uh, open or close properly. So you go to your doctor, and he says, oh, we have to, uh, now we have to replace these doors and windows. Now, anyone with a little common sense would look to the home's foundation to make sure that all four cornerstones of that foundation were supporting the house properly. Well, that's exactly what the stabilizer orthotic does. It reestablishes all four arches perfectly. So as you walk over the support, it's actually realigning all 26 bones, putting them into proper alignment. And when that happens, it puts the entire body into better alignment. You'll stand taller, they'll take pressure off the lower back, it will increase circulation, and you will even breathe easier. The stabilizer also exercises and strengthens the foot. You will definitely see a change in your body. We have seen dramatic results from the stabilizer orthotic over the years. Now, let's talk about the sizing process. The uh, stabilizer orthotic is marked on the inside of the orthotic and they are in men's dress shoe sizes. Uh, you will need to Please make time to watch the remainder of this video. It's very informative and fun as well. You will see before and after pressure mapping of the foot, and you'll learn how to do biomechanical balance testing with each other. It will assure your success with the natural foot orthotic system. Thank you very much. Jeremy, what brings you in here today? Uh, I've been in pain every day on my right, my right side here in the heel area. I had it before or a long time ago, maybe a couple of years ago. I think the doctor said it was plantar fasciitis or something like that. Okay. But it's flared up now and it's been about two months. It just keeps bothering me and bothering me. I, I don't know what to do. So I saw a TV ad. I thought maybe I'd come here and get some relief or get some help. Well, you're definitely in the right place. Uh, let's get you off those sore feet. I'm going to have you sit down right here in this chair, okay? Go ahead and have a seat. And can you do me a favor and take off your shoes? Okay. Okay. Are these the shoes you wear most often? Uh, I do wear these every once in a while, and at work and stuff, I wear dress shoes, and then I also wear like kind of what you have, you know, for sports and running. Okay, what kind of activities do you do that this pain might be holding you back from? Any running or exercising of any sort? Well, at work, like if I'm off my feet for a while, mm -hmm. sitting down doing something, I stand up. It's like a shooting pain right there on my heel. Uh, That's so it takes me like uh, it really bothers me there, and then. When I'm playing, I play volleyball in the league, and like the next day, I can't even walk in the morning. Okay, so this really affects uh, your lifestyle then, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. 
Okay. Well, I think that we have something that uh, will definitely make you more comfortable, help you out quite a bit. Okay. Go ahead and take off your socks for me. Okay. All right. I'm going to actually have you put your heel right here on my leg, okay? Okay. Take a look at your feet here. You got a couple areas where you got some callous skin. One spot right there, kind of on your big toes, on this joint. Okay. All right, I'm going to have you stand up for me and just stand right over here. I want you to put your left foot right here, your right foot flat on the pad, and walk off with your left foot first, okay? okay. And you're going to turn around and do just the opposite. So right foot on the outside, left foot on the pad, right foot first. All right, that's perfect. Okay. What size of shoe do you normally wear? Ten and a half or eleven. Okay, you usually go a little wide there? I do get wider shoes. Okay. I'm going to have you put your foot on there for me. Okay, now when you're sitting down, you measure right about a ten and a half. Go ahead and stand up for me. And just put your feet evenly right next to each other. It kind of spreads out into an eleven. Go ahead and have a seat. And let's do your left foot now. You have these little protrusions right here. Do they ever bother you in your shoes? On my left side. Okay. And here you're actually measuring about a nine and a half to a ten. Go ahead and stand up for me. Oh, and this one spreads way out into a ten and a half. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. So it does look like you have a little bit of a wide forefoot. Uh, you've got a couple of protrusions there that will accommodate. I think an 11 wide would be a really good size for you. We'll probably go into a 2E size for you. OK. OK. It's going to take me a few minutes to go back there and put together a little system that's going to help you with your problem and get rid of that pain, okay. all right? So if you can do me a favor when I'm back there and just fill out this little bit of top information, your name, address, kind of you know how you heard about us and, and a couple things. It'll take me a couple of minutes. I'll be right back, OK? All right. All right, thanks. How are you doing with that questionnaire? Uh, I'm all finished. Oh, all right, I'm all finished here. All right. We're all finished and about to get started. Now I brought out a couple different products that we'll get to in just a little bit. What I want to do first is show you what your footprints are telling me. Okay. Okay. And I think you're going to learn a lot from this. I want to show you what the more ideal footprint looks like according to the, to the Podiatric Association. You can see how this footprint's all the same color and how your index toe and your pinky toe line up with the inside and outside of the heel. No. Oh. This is what the Podiatric Association deems to be the ideal foot. You can see that the weight's been evenly distributed. It's all the same color throughout the foot, the toes, the entire base of the foot. You can also see it's in perfect alignment. Your index toe and your pinky toe line up with the inside and outside of the heel, which means this foot is walking perfectly heel to toe. Great gait. If we compare it to your footprints, you can see that you have some hot spots. These pressures of dark areas are your metatarsal heads. You can see you have a lot of pressure on your big toes and even a little bit of pressure here on your heels. Okay, you can see how it gets a little bit lighter in your arch. Now, besides your weight being a little bit off, if we took a ruler and lined up the inside of that index toe straight down you would see it doesn't line up with the inside of your heel. Oh yeah, that's off. And there's your, right through your pinky toe. So can you see right where your heel is supposed to be in between? Yes. Your, your gait is a little bit off, okay? The weight distribution is going to be off because of the alignment of the bones. Yeah. Okay, so now that you see the differences here, can you see how far off your feet are? Yeah. Okay. Way off. I have a product here that's going to change some of that. And I want to show you this change with another set of footprints. Okay. So go ahead and stand up over here. I'm going to have you put your left foot right here, your right foot above the pad. Go ahead and set your foot down and just stand on it. Look forward and walk off with your left foot first, okay? Excellent. Okay, and your right foot on the outside, your left foot on, up in the air, set it down, 
Just relax your feet, stand there normally, and walk off with your right foot first. Good. You can go ahead and have a seat. Those are some really great differences I'm seeing already. I can't wait to show them to you. All right. Okay. You're gonna stop and come over. Okay, we talked about how your weight distribution was a little bit different than this podiatric footprint and how the alignment of your foot was also a little bit different. I wanna show you how things have changed. All these dark spots that you saw on your other feet, can you, can you see how a couple of them are a lot lighter? Oh, yeah. A lot of them aren't even there? Yeah, it's a lot lighter. Pressure's right here, right in the middle of your foot. Can you see right where you're having your problem, how much pressure is off your heels? Yeah, it's taking a lot of pressure off there. A lot less pressure on your heels might mean a lot less pain, and that's what you want. Now for the uh, alignment of your foot, Remember how I drew those lines and your feet were just a little bit off? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is holding your foot in a position where you can actually walk a little bit more heel to toe. Do you see how your heel has yeah, went back into a better alignment? That's a big difference. It's a huge difference. And you can see your left foot's done the same kind of thing. Pressure's off the balls of your feet, off your heels, right here in the middle of your foot. Your toes look a little bit more spread out. You can actually see your pinky toes oh, yeah. out a little bit more, so it's gonna help increase the circulation of your feet. This is exactly what I want to see. Now I want to I show you how this is going to affect your body, okay? Okay. Okay. I want to have you stand up and we're going to have some fun, okay? Okay. We're going to do some biomechanical balancing. Uh, okay, go ahead and stand right up over here. Go ahead and take a step forward for me. I'm going to have to get all the way around you. Okay. And face me this way. Perfect. Go ahead and put your hands like this at your waist. Okay. What I want to do is push down. I just want you to simply resist, okay? Okay. Go ahead and resist. See how your heels come up? Yeah. Fall forward. <laughs> I almost fell on you. Fell forward a little too easy there. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. And go ahead and resist. You see how you fall right back. Yeah. Now go ahead and then put your hands like this, like you're lifting a piece of luggage. And resist. See how that foot kicks out? Yeah. Okay. I'm out of balance. Yeah, your body is actually not able to handle the weight properly. And so it's throwing your stability off quite a bit. I want you to put your hands like this now. I'm just gonna use two little fingers and I wanna push down, I want you to resist, okay? Okay. See how easy it is for me to drag you down? Yeah, I can't, I can't resist you. Okay. I bet it doesn't feel good to feel that weak. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, I want you to stand right onto these, okay? Just your heel and the heel cub. Perfect. Okay. Do you feel the pressure in your arch? Yeah, I feel it right there in the center. Okay, when I showed you your footprints, do you remember how I put the pressure right there? Yeah. This is what's gonna make things different for you right now. Okay. Put your hands like this and look forward. Now I notice your chest sticking out, your shoulders are back. You're yeah. standing a little bit taller, Actually, do you feel, do feel it? Feel, I do feel myself standing taller. What about that pain in your heels? I actually don't really notice it right now. Yeah, I'm it's sure you weren't, amazing. you weren't paying attention, but that pain should, it's gone. Let's have you go ahead and resist. Okay. Uh, see how much uh, stronger you are? You can't knock me over now. <laughs> Not at all. And resist. No, I'm pushing a whole lot harder. Oh, yeah. Your body is able to handle the weight that's going through your body. Your body is working the way it's supposed to. Put your hands on the inside and look forward and resist. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Huge difference. You weren't kicking. All right. I'm starting to strain myself out. Put your hands like this. Same two fingers, you just resist, okay? Okay. <laughs> I might need three fingers. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's a big okay. difference. It's a huge difference. And you've got that pressure off your heels. Uh. You're gonna get a whole lot more than what you came here for, okay? okay? Now these, you feel pressure in your arch? Yeah, I feel right there in the, in the arch. You can feel it'll take a little bit of time to get used to, right? Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. Is this something okay. that will go away? Well, I'm gonna beat you to it, okay? Okay. You're supposed to wear these only one hour the first day. And you're supposed to add an hour tomorrow, so wear them two hours, and then three hours the third day. And every day, just add an hour until you get into them full time. When you're not wearing these, do you really want the pressure back on your heels? No, I don't. Okay, and you came in here wearing a good pair of dress shoes. I have an orthotic that, uh, it's called the Euro. It's gonna help maintain a lot of the hard work that this does the rest of the day. So stand directly into those. Okay, how do those feel? I don't feel that big, big lump in my arch. How do your heels feel? I still feel the pressure off my heels though. Good. Go ahead and put your hands like this and resist. Still got the same strong balance there. 
Yeah. You feel me pushing you a whole lot harder? I have been trying to push. Good. Go ahead and resist. All right. And we're just going to do the one uh, on the inside like this. Look forward for me. Okay. Resist. Okay. So once again, this is doing everything I want it to do. Now, when you get out of this after an hour, it's a good thing to get into these so that you keep your feet supported. Okay, you control your feet, keep the pressure off those heels. Okay? okay. I want you to just walk over here, just a few steps. As you walk, your feet are changing just the way that you were when you came into our store. Yeah, I already noticed my heel. You feel the heel? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and stand right back onto the thinner ones for me. Okay. These still feel the same, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Put your hands like this. Now I noticed something with your posture. It's just a little bit different than when you're staying on the good ones. Go ahead and resist. Okay. Do you see how your heels kind of lifted up and you fell forward? Yeah, just like the first time. Yeah, it, it didn't happen when you went from those right into these. Oh, it didn't. But it did happen right now. It's because you walked, your feet lost a lot of the balance and stability that the, the ones that you felt created, mm -hmm. and these maintained it. So you had the same balance and stability. Oh, okay. When you walked and you came back, your feet lost it. These aren't enough to pick it back up and give you that balance and stability. And they're probably not enough to control your feet for the most part. Put your hands back here and resist. Okay, you can see how you fall back? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and have a seat now. Okay. So in order for you to really take care of your problem and feel comfortable all the time, you have a wardrobe of shoes. Okay, you don't wear the kind of shoes I'm wearing all the time just for your sports. Yeah. And you don't wear your dress shoes all the time. Well, this is gonna give you the most benefit. We just proved that, okay? Oh, yeah. Gave you the balance, the stability. You really felt that pain off your heels, you said. Yeah, I felt the difference. As you get into these, you're gonna use these as a maintenance item so that this is, the braking will be more comfortable with these. Okay. And that way you're always gonna have your pressure off your heels. You're gonna help support your feet so that that problem doesn't get worse and maybe come back once it heals, okay? I'm gonna have you take off your socks for me, your nylons. And I wanna go through a couple of products here and show you what we're gonna to do to, to make it work for you. Okay. Now the first thing, I brought a pair of socks from Thor. They have a fantastic set of cushions, okay? It feels like they're, they're padded a lot. Yeah, it's kinda of like walking on pillows. And your heels, being in that pain, I'm sure they're going to want to walk on pillows. It's going to help them feel much more comfortable. Oh, yeah. Those feel good. Now, if you look on your top, you have a little red spot here on the top. See how this, this sock has some cushioning here? Mm -hmm. You know, it's cushioning your heel, the ball of your feet, right there where your lace is coming, strapped down to, your, to, your, to the instep. It's going to make you a whole lot more comfortable. Okay. Now, these orthotics, we sell at $300. They have a 10-year guarantee. Uh, the stabilizer steps will probably last at least 15, 20 years, if not a little longer. And um, they're only going to fit into your walking shoes. They're going to fit into the things you wear when you're really on your feet, doing some hard stuff, okay? You have to wear these an hour the first day. I'll take them back. Okay. After you take these out after an hour, you want to put these in. So you felt those being more comfortable. You should be able to wear them comfortably the rest of the day. They're going to help maintain all the hard work that this created for you. So you can stay in that comfortable position the rest of the day. Not only that, but you can see how much thinner they are than these, can't you? Oh, it's a lot thinner. So, yeah, I can see how I could wear it in my dress shoes. That's right. I want you to have support all the time. With your feet, as soon as you start using uh, them without the supports, they might go back into that position where you have your problem. So let's keep them supported and prevent that problem from getting worse and maybe make it, uh, let it get better, okay? Okay. Okay, I want to try them on in a good pair of athletic shoes. We're going to try on the better support, the stabilizer steps. And I picked out a shoe called the Beast. It's from Brooks. It is the number one recommended uh, running shoe in the nation by doctors right now. Okay. And it's because of the motion control properties it has. It's got a nice firm heel to help control your ankle. It's got excellent torsional rigidity. It doesn't let you twist the inside and pronate that sometimes creates those problems that you might be having. And if you bend it, you'll notice that it bends only in the front of your feet. It's pretty stiff too. It bends right in the front. Okay. So your foot bending in the right place. That'll actually take a lot of pressure off your arch and a lot of pressure off the balls of your feet. I measured this shoe in a way where you're gonna have a lot of toe room, okay? okay. That toe room is gonna help your toes spread out, help increase the circulation. Not only that, but this orthotic is ideal for accommodating an orthotic. Okay, this shoe, can you see how flat it is in there? Yeah, you took out that insole. I took out the insole. This insert's got a little bit of a, of a arch in here. Okay. And that arch could throw mine off. In fact, if you put this down on the floor, 
and you set this right on top of it. Can you see how it's leaning to the outside? Yeah, it's tilting out there. Okay, this is probably going to make your shoes wear out too far to the outside. And oh. so when you spend this kind of money on this shoe, it's $130. I don't want it to last three or four months. I'd like it to last, you know, the six months to a year. What shoes are supposed to last if you wear them every single day. So it's got the right shape. It's got a, a straight last. Okay. It doesn't have anything they could throw off my orthotic. It's going to make you feel more comfortable in this shoe and help take care of your problem than most other shoes out there. So this is why I'm recommending this shoe for you in particular. Now on top of the orthotics, I don't want you to just be sitting on top of a piece of plastic. Okay. So I'll let you feel this cushion right here. This is really important, I think. This is 100% sponge rubber, okay, with a nylon coating on top. Okay. The bottom of it, you can feel, is kind of grippy. Yeah. That, gri that texture is going to help control the orthotic and stop it from sliding around your shoe so that you're not running or playing volleyball and having this moving around and creating some problems for you. Okay, I don't want your mind on your feet when you're playing those sports. So, next thing this does is you feel that cushion. Yeah, I do feel the cushion. Okay, you remember that ball that you felt in your arch when you were standing on it? Mm -hmm. That cushion is going to help you get used to it. It's really important for the break in period. So, I really suggest getting that cushion just for that. It also has a firmness that helps absorb a lot of step shock. Okay, about 80% of it. That stops the tremors from going up into your body and damaging your bones. Okay. Okay. Now what we want to do is actually put this in all the way in first. Okay. Put the cushion in first. Yeah. Make sure you've got the right orthotic. Okay, for the right shoe. How do I tell? It actually says right and left right in there. Oh, okay. Okay, and the inside arch right here is always a little bit higher, but I think you'll be fine. You seem plenty smart. I'm going to have you put your feet right in here. Do you see how that went on like a glove? Oh, yeah. It's exactly the way it's supposed to go on. It actually already feels pretty good. Yeah. I bet you're going to like that support in your arch. You need it. Okay? Yeah. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I think if you get rid of your heel problem, or at least make it more comfortable, it's worth it. Oh, yeah. I can already feel some of the pressure coming off my heel. Just, just sitting there? Yeah. It works pretty quickly. Let me see that cushion. Thanks. You notice how quickly I do this? I just taco it up like this, put it all the way to the front of the shoe. So just remember taco. It, it kind of fans down a little bit, and then I lift up the heel part, take the orthotic again, slide it in, and make sure it's all the way to the back. All the way to the back. In this particular shoe, it's pretty much going to sit in the center all the time. Okay. In other shoes, you want to, might want to make sure it does sit in the center, okay? Okay. And put this on. Now, I do want to show you, I'm lacing up your shoe a little bit differently here. You have these little extra holes that a lot of people don't know how to use them. Oh, yeah. If you take this lace and go from the outside in on this hole and do the same thing to the other hole, you make these little bunny ears. Okay. I want you to take this lace from this side through the, this bunny ear and then the same thing with this lace through this bunny ear. See how these loops are a little bit longer? Mm -hmm. I want you to snug, snug them up like this. Pull them towards your heels. Oh, okay. Okay, that's going to give you, do you feel it snugging up around your ankles? Yeah, it's right around the ankle, not on the top. Okay, I, with the supports in the shoe, I want to make sure that that ankle is doing what it should do. Go ahead and stand up for me. See how that feels. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all, all it feels like that kind of lump in the center of my foot. What about your heels? There's no pain in my heel. Good. You should feel even some of the pressure off their toes, off the balls of your feet. Yeah, I can, my toes can spread out. I can feel that. Just like you said, pressure right there in your arch. Yeah. Now, you don't want to walk around all day in this. You're going to want to kind of switch back and forth until you can get into this full time. While you're wearing the shoes, do this for me, OK? OK. OK, I want you to just resist. Oh, yeah. All right, still got the balance and stability, right? Yeah, Take yeah. a step right over here and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to resist. All right, so that's perfect. Now let me show you how this works while you're standing on it, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now I bet you didn't know, but your feet have four arches. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. A lot of people don't. You actually have a medial longitudinal arch, a lateral longitudinal arch, a metatarsal arch. A lot of people call it the metatarsal transverse arch, and an actual transverse arch. Okay. Okay. So you have lots of arches, and if you notice, the pressure on your footprints was on the balls of your feet and your heels. Yeah, that's where all the pressure was. When I was actually pushing you around, you fell backwards where there was pressure on your heels. Mm -hmm. You fell forwards where there was pressure on the balls of your feet. Okay. See how this foot's kind of a, a little bit limp? 
yeah. see how it kind of falls to the inside like that? Yeah. Your feet were kind of pronating a little bit. And so this pronation kind of throws off your side to side stability, okay? This orthotic, the stabilizer steps, supports your metatarsal arch a lot. It supports your transverse arch. It really gets into the medial longitudinal and the lateral arch. It's one of the few orthotics out there that support all four arches oh, wow. to help keep your foot in the right position so that you don't fall backwards, you don't fall forwards. It takes your weight right through the right part of your foot that it's meant to take weight through. I want to show you this skeleton chart right here. Okay. This is called a physiologically effective posture chart. And if you notice, this black line right here goes down through the body. Your ears line up right over your shoulders. That lines up right over your hips. That lines up right over your knees, over your ankles. And guess what? That line goes right through your arches. This is called the transverse axis of your body. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so if your weight is going right here instead of here and here, that's why you were more balanced and stable. Yeah. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. And also, guess what? You're pronating, right? We saw that in your footprints. If your ankle's like this, what do you think is happening to your knee? Oh, well, probably a lot of pressure on that. Yeah. What happens to your, your hips and your lower back yeah. and your shoulders? Throws everything off. Throws everything off. So this orthotic is going to help support your arches. Got a nice heel cup to hold your ankle in neutral position. And it's going to give you the alignment of your ankle. Oh, I see that. It's going to help out your knees and your hips, your back, your shoulders. And a whole lot of other things, your probably balance, your stability. I feel like I'm standing a lot taller, that's probably... Yeah, and you can really see it while you're just standing there, okay? Yeah. So does this kind of make sense why it's working that way? Oh, it makes a lot of sense now. Okay, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. I want to try on the thinner pair now in your shoes. And I want you to feel how comfortable they are. See, I want to show you why you can wear those the rest of the time, okay? Okay. I have to say, you're my best customer so far. I've never had someone help me take off the shoes. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna put this right under here. Okay. Just the same way I did that one. Now this one actually isn't marked right and left. I can mark it for you underneath. But can you see yeah, which one's right higher? Here. Yeah. That goes on the inside of your foot. Okay. Okay. So we'll pretend like you wore these for an hour today. Okay. After an hour, you would take them out and put these in the rest of the day. Yeah, it already feels a lot more comfortable in the arch. It's definitely going to feel more comfortable. I expect you to wear this all day long and not even know that they're there by the end of the day. More importantly, your body is going to change as your body gets used to this one. Okay? Yeah. Uh, a little adjustment period where you feel little aches and sprains throughout your body, might rework certain muscles. You, after you do all this, you're going to feel a whole lot better. This is the goal. But I don't want to leave these in today and never take them out because sometimes your body adjusts too quickly. Okay. So part of the reason we're going back and forth is to slow down that adjustment period. I want you to wear it for an hour, take this out, put in the maintenance ones, maintain that adjustment for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I want you to add an hour, okay, and maintain that. And every day you're just going to be going up that step ladder until you get into these full time. Then you're going to have these that you'll be able to use in your dress shoes and everything else your western boots, your sandals. The weather out here is kind of hot and I know you wear a lot of sandals, so we're gonna make sure that you do it. Keep your feet comfortable. Even if those are comfortable, you still recommend the break-in? Yes, I definitely do. Your body will adjust, and I wanna make sure that you adjust slowly, because it took you how long to get this way? Uh, it's been a while. Probably all your life, yeah. okay? You slowly got there. So I want to slowly put you back to where you need to be. I don't want to just do it quick, okay? Because that's when your body will feel it. And you won't know it until it hits you. So I'm going to protect you from that, okay? Okay. Now if you decide to wear them a little bit longer, that's fine. But if you feel like they start to bother you or you feel pressure in your arch or something that, you know, isn't going the way I tell you it's supposed to be going, take them out, put in the thinner ones. So how do these feel? Uh, they, they feel more uh, comfortable. I, I definitely see how I could wear these all day long. Yeah, good. What about that pain in your heel? I don't, I don't feel the pain at all in my heel. Good. How do the shoes yeah. feel? Do you feel like you have some toe room? Yeah, the shoes are, they feel really good actually in the toes. Uh, I feel actually really balanced. Good, uh, well, we prove you're a balance. Those shoes fit you as perfect as I can get them. It could be no more perfect. I think that uh, you should have a seat and we should try them out in your dress shoes you came in with, okay? Okay. That way we make sure that this fits everything that you need it to fit for now. 
And if you have problems putting this in some of your other shoes, by all means bring them in to me. If I need to adjust them or modify them, I'll do that for you, okay? I'll make it work. Because I expect you to wear these R supports all, all the time. Every day for the rest of your life if I can get you into them. Because I don't ever want that heel problem, once it heals, to come back. Okay. Um, and this definitely has that potential. My, my dress, the insert doesn't come out. You know, that's the great thing about these. You don't need a cushion on top of these because you don't have that pressure, that ball that you're standing on. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easy to get used to. In dress shoes, you just slide this right in there. Slide it in there. Yeah. Got a shoehorn here you can look also to put it back on. Why don't you put on your dress socks for me, okay? Oh, okay. Those socks might fill up that a little bit. Now, I do have a pair of Thorlos for your dress shoes. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. And I actually, if you buy three Thorlos, you get one free. So oh, maybe you might get a couple for your for your athletic shoes, a couple for your for your dress shoes, and I think you'll be set there. And just slide that in. Yeah. And your sandals, you can put a piece of Velcro under there. And so if you bring your sandals into me, I'll help you put it together, okay? Okay. Looks like it went in pretty easily. Is it taking up any more space, making your shoes uncomfortable? No, not at all. It actually, it makes it really comfortable. Yeah, it probably does make it a whole lot more comfortable. Big difference. And you still got that pressure off your heels? Oh, yeah, it's all the way off my heels. So you can see why I want you to be in something all the time, okay? And this is the two things that are going to go into your wardrobe of shoes so that at no time you can have that pressure back on your heels. I want you to feel good. Uh, I definitely see, uh, I would definitely wear these my, my dress shoes. Okay. Well, I think that you're, you're pretty much set to go. I can do no more to make you happier. Let's do this. This is comfortable. Okay. Well, it was my pleasure working with you. All right. I'll see you right up here at the register, okay? okay. And this is my wearing guide, which I want to go over you with you, okay? It tells you here, and I'm going to kind of double circle this, the first day you wear it only one hour. Okay. After an hour, take it out. Put in the other ones. Oh, okay. The ones Sec uh -huh. And the second day, wear them for two hours. The third day, wear them three hours. Whenever you're not wearing the one that you felt you're standing on a ball, mm -hmm. you've got to be wearing the ones you're wearing now. That way you're supported all the time, okay? Okay. Your orthotics, anytime they're hard to wear, I want to make sure that you take them off. Wait until later in the day or the next day to wear them again. Sometimes they might be uncomfortable. It might depend on the shoe you're wearing it with. It might be it depend on the activity you're doing. So just be comfortable, okay? Your problems don't come overnight. Some things won't change overnight. Your balance, your stability, your posture, uh, the weight distribution in your feet, the alignment, some things change a lot immediately. Oh, but yeah. your body has to adjust. Things will slowly change, and so that's what this means. The pressure in your arch, we call it the golf ball effect. It says it goes away within about 21 to 28 days. It's approximate. For you, it'll probably go away much sooner. For some people, it goes away a little bit later than that. Okay, okay. so it's an approximate amount of time. The supports, don't use them in any sports, aerobic activity, anything serious until you can really use them comfortably all day long. I don't want you to make your arch sore or rush your body into alignment too quickly, okay? The ones you're wearing now, you can pretty much wear all the time. So try them out for those sports, and then once you get used to the ones that have the golf ball, start using those, okay? okay. Those are gonna be your lifesaver. It's important that your new supports that level on the bottom of your shoe. So I want you to remove any existing liners. Remember how I put the orthotic on top of the liner it looked like they were thrown out? Mm -hmm. Make sure they sit flat. Okay. And if you have a question with any of the shoes you have at home, I want you to bring them in to me because if you put my orthotic in one of your shoes and the shoe is a little bit wrong, it's going to throw my orthotic off and you might have some problems. Okay. I want to make sure you do it right, so I'll be here always so I can give you my advice, okay? Okay. You may have an ache from time to time that affects your major joints, things like your feet, your ankles, your knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, even your neck. Things might have a little ache or sprain as you adjust. It's your body changing, and you have to change to get better. Okay? okay, you don't want to stay this way. In 10 years, unless you lose them, your dog eats them, something along those lines, we won't cover them. The other things we went over, we will cover them. Okay. Always help you out that way. Once again, the 30-day exchange policy, okay, come within a reasonable amount of time, and we can help you out much better than if you came within a year or two. And my 1-800 number. So, does this all make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. This will probably answer a lot of the questions you have for me in the future, if you had any. But once again, you have my business card, so please give me a call now.
you went to your doctor two years ago. If you're going to go to your doctor again for a problem similar to this, I want you to bring this up to him. If you have family or friends that have a, some foot problems, oh, yeah. I want to help them as much as you do. So give them my card, send them in here, and, and, and I'll probably be calling you in two or three weeks and check and see how you're doing, okay? Okay. Okay. Great. It was my pleasure helping you out. I'm going to put this right in your bag. You've got your shoes and your socks, and you're ready to start a new life there. All right. You have a great day, okay? Thank you, Anthony. Hey, thank you, Jeremy.